Zayden. Look at the camera. <laughs> oh Hi, guys. Fun oh, time is over. Vacation is done. Vacation Reality is, is starting. Ken is going back to work on Monday. <laughs> Shit is getting real. So Ken's been home for the past two weeks. And he's going back to work. He's been like so helpful. And my body is still recovering. Like I still can't lift Zayden. I still can't lift Aliana. My hips are still really, really sore. Um, so I am going to mom's house on Monday when he goes back to work just to get those extra few hands here and there. We're just going to make the most of the weekend that we have. And we're going to go walk around and just enjoy the city. The weather's gorgeous today. You got a little something something on your face there. I'm officially two weeks postpartum guys so she's already running around. It's not hurting to walk anymore so we're gonna take advantage. Oh my god it's getting a little chilly. Between the pregnancy and like the shitty weather this whole winter we've been home for months and months and months. And winter's gonna come back So real now fast. slightest bit of sunlight and we're out of the house. Right Lils? Mm -hmm. Yeah what you got there? Cake pop. Cake hey can pop. you share with me? Ah. <laughs> Okay, you want to know something? What? I woke up this morning. I didn't sleep very well last night because Zariah kept me up pretty much all night. And I slept for like an hour and a half this morning and I'm like so emo. I don't know if it's a lack of sleep or like the hormones. I don't know what it is, but I woke up just like smiling and cuddling and like just feeling so grateful. And it, I feel so cheesy saying it, but I just feel so like at peace through my fatigue and through my exhaustion because I just feel so grateful right now for like her and you like all your help and the kids like no matter like how exhausted I am right now and like how much fatigue I'm under I feel like I'm delusional with the amount of fatigue I feel but I still family. I still feel like so we love the dogs we love the dogs I love the dogs we're so cheesy right now people are probably like that we exit out of this vlog no. immediately Y'all gotta deal with the pregnancy hormones. I'm super emo. Oh, Ken has a full license, guys. And he like, we need to utilize it this summer. We used to go all the time. Call me Captain Ken. We used to go on boats all the time. Like, we used to rent boats and he used to like, take me out around on the lake when we were dating. And then ever since we had kids, we've done it once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This summer though. I'm just scared to take the kids on the boat. That's what life jackets are for. No, it's too scary. Like, we'll leave the kids at home and do it. Alright. Noms, you want to go on a boat? Yeah. I just said we got to leave the kids at home. We can't. Noms, on a, she wants to go I'm on a boat. I'm too scared to take them out on the boat. It's okay. Yay. It's Lake Ontario. It's not the ocean. Miss Aliana is no longer in the stroller because the new baby has to go in the stroller. She's not thrilled about it, but now you get to hold my hand around the city and we get to go on adventures together, right? I, I don't want to go in the stroller. I wanted the cotton candy. You want cotton candy? Okay, you want to find some cotton candy? Show me your big, beautiful smile first. And Acacia. Okay, What's Zariah doing? Zariah is knocked out.
stay awake. But she's so tired from childhood. I do all of the work. His sweater was white when we got here. And then what happened? I don't know what Say then what happened to your sweater? Huh? What happened to your sweater? Explain. So we're at mom's house now. Zariah's inside sleeping, dad is watching her. These are like the little perks of being at mom and dad's house. I can just like, when she's napping, someone's like always there to watch her and then I can just kind of do my thing with the two that are awake. <laughs> my parents currently have like empty nest syndrome. So all of us moved out, their house is empty and they're obsessed with their only grandkids. So every time we're over, they're like, so happy they never want us to leave so i try to spend as much time as i can here because it's mutually beneficial like they're so happy to have the kids around and then i get the extra hands and extra hands are always good so we've been having this like conversation about like postpartum care on my instagram stories if you guys follow me and you guys have had so much to say about like belly wrapping and like belly binding my mom is been has been telling me to like wrap my stomach because i'm about like a couple weeks postpartum now and my bump is like the biggest it's ever been postpartum. Like I've never had a bump this big after giving birth. See, my family doctor, I spoke to her about it and she said it's definitely not advised. Um, and I also spoke to like a postpartum care nurse and she told me that they don't advise it. My stomach has always gone back after giving birth naturally. So I've never had to do anything except just like obviously naturally work out a little bit after I heal but this time it's like different I feel like my organs are like looser and I know that happens like the third time around but like I literally like I feel weird it feels really weird like I feel like I have no muscles in my stomach so I asked you guys what you guys think I should do and the verdict was pretty much 50 50 but I'm just gonna go with my gut and listen to my doctor and not bind my stomach I'll show you guys my stomach it's like like that's where we're at so it's down it's gone down a lot um guys also don't mind my hair i know it's a mess but this is the best we can do these days <laughs> kids snacks are the best cheers wait wait wait, wait. we're not going on the road we're not going on the road we're in the burbs during the week, and on the weekends we're downtown. And we're also downtown if I have a work event, so it's kind of the best of both worlds right now. We're just trying to find like our little balance, because we're not ready to like give up our city life. But I also know like the kids are so much happier in the burbs, having like all the space to run around which they definitely don't have in the city. All right, Zariah is inside crying, so we gotta run in. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Are you gonna be the best big sister in the world? Yes! Want to come outside with me and watch me one? My scooter? <gasps> yeah! Let's go outside and run outside. Come. Yeah, let's go. Hooray! Hooray! Okay, we're gonna do some hopscotch. Aliana, do you know what hopscotch is? Yeah. We're gonna do some hopscotch, okay? Okay, hopscotch is a game that mommy used to play when mommy was little. I don't even know if I remember. Okay, let's see. Ready? done this in years so if this is wrong they won't know because they've never played okay that hop made me realize it's way too early postpartum to be jumping like that <laughs> So 
a lot of you guys know, we just moved into our new place um, in December. It was the biggest mistake we've ever made, even though Ken's in love with the place. I love the place too. It's just, it's, it's not, not practical. Mistake. It's just didn't come at the right time. No it was a big giant mistake. So <laughs> nah. Nah. Ken is being really positive about the place, but I'm super frustrated because we got this place like seven years ago, guys. And it, the project was delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And it's like right in the heart of the city. It's like right next to like the Roger Center, the CN Tower. It's like smack dab in. So cool. It's smack dab in the middle of the city. So when we bought this place, we were just a, married. we were just married. We were 24 and 25 years old. We didn't have kids. We did. I was in a stage where I was like, I'm never going to have kids and we're gonna party till we die. So we bought this tiny little condo in the heart of the city, surrounded by clubs. It has so much going on. And like, that's not where I am in life anymore. <laughs> this is where I am in life. <laughs> so as cool as this condo is, and as grateful as I am for it, it's not very practical for me and my three kids. So Ken is like all smiles about this condo. Cause I like the place. It's cool. I have my big screen TV. It's like a movie theater. I got my video games. So we're basically just using this spot as like our studio space until we decide what it is that we want to do and where we want to live. Downtown. <laughs> Ken already knows where he wants to live. <laughs> Downtown. I want to stay downtown too, but I feel like I'm also ready to like slow down a little bit no. and move just like a little bit out of the city. No. <laughs> Everywhere looks the same and boring. So yeah, we're clearly still trying to decide where it is that we want to live. We can't decide. So until we decide what it is that we want to do, we're using the downtown space as our studio and kind of like our weekend spot. And we're also going to stay there when I have like work events. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna be here at mom's with the kids during the week. And we're just gonna like ride it out until we figure out where the heck we wanna live. We're like in limbo right now. Mm -hmm. One more kissy. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna call it a night. The babies are dropping to sleep left, right and center right now. This one's down, Aliana's down in her room. This one thinks he's gonna sleep with me tonight, but he's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and keep this vlogging thing going, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Say bye-bye, Zayden. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you get a flying kitty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, can I have one? No. Why?